It's buzzing at Kelowna International Airport like it hasn't in two years, and it's only going to get busier as spring break approaches. We're seeing a lot of uh, pent-up demand for skiing in the area. So we're seeing people arriving from all over Canada and the United States going up to the resorts, Big White, Silver Star, Revelstoke, and they're arriving in larger groups. So this was really a change for us for the last for the last two years. Obviously, we haven't seen a lot of that. And it's really exciting to see. And the fares that are available now as well, because there's so much service and there's so many options from the East Coast or from the East, particularly Ontario, Montreal, uh, we're starting to see a lot of traffic uh, materialize. Flights to and from the U.S. are also on the rise. Service on Alaska Airlines between Kelowna and Seattle increased to twice a day at the start of the month. And that's really uh, exciting for us and strategic because now people will be able to leave here in the morning at 6 a.m., connect through Seattle on a very large bank of flights, and then travel through to the United States. And same coming in, where they'll be able to travel through Seattle and same day connection, get back into Kelowna before the end of the day. Staffing continues to be an issue, so be prepared for long lines and a bit of a wait. But to Elchitz and others at YLW, that's a relief after so many lean months. Certainly exciting to see the growth that we're starting to have, trying to get back to pre-pandemic levels. And it's so very important that passengers realize that they, they have to prepare for the busy travel season. Do as much as you can at home. Check in online, get all your travel documents in order and get to the airport early at least two hours for domestic flights the facility opens early and everything will be up and operating by four o'clock the other piece that's very important is when you do get to the airport make sure that you use the common use uh, kiosks to print your baggage tags because really what that'll allow you to do is to get into a different line to the bag drop line which is a lot shorter and you'll get through the check-in process a lot quicker at Kelowna International Airport Cindy White Castanet